in Brian's car, and then that's my garage back there. That's the refrigerator. Wow. Okay. Is so weird so you can see like brian he it's standing in front of us and then he tells he starts pulling forward see how is it 20 inches now so he starts moving up and then that's when it gets out of the way hello friends welcome to gotha florida is that how you say it? gotha it's not gotha. gotha it's gotha we're here at woodlawn cemetery today's going to be an interesting day we're going to drive around in brian and jenny's tesla brian and jenny meet everyone Everyone, Hi everyone, meet Brian and Jane. This is going to be quite an adventure. Welcome. I don't know what exactly it's like in there. I'm going to, have to go this way, up, and then around. So this Tesla shows a lot of stuff. It senses my car parked right next to us, exactly where it's parked. It even kind of looks like a Honda Accord, doesn't it? It's very sensitive. These Teslas are very smart. So they say, there's uh, some people have been having experiences where they're sensing things or seeing, th the car is seeing things that is not actually there. Some say they might be spirits or ghosts or something. So today we're hanging around in Brian and Jane's Tesla to, maybe we can see something out here. just to see how sensitive this is. And if it does pick up people very easily, Jenny's gonna get out and walk around. We're gonna see if we can see her walk around the car with it. Well, see if the, the car can see her. <laughs> there you are. Okay. Sixteen inches, it says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking the other way, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get that cold. We are slow rolling through the cemetery just to see if there's any any sensitivity. It seems like something has been changed with the Tesla programming, where it's not as sensitive anymore, because. Jenny's walking around, Brian walked around. We've tried to pull up to a couple things. It's not really sensing it as they say it used to. Previous to today, Brian and Jenny have seen some weird things in this car. I'll show you a little bit of the uh, the footage from, from their garage. Do you see the figure standing there? <laughs> yes, I do. This is in your garage. No, this is, we're backed up to the garage. Okay. So then that's the house. There's nobody standing there. You might have seen my video on World's Greatest Kiting a couple years ago. You might not have. I'll put a link to it right up above of visiting Bob Ross's grave. It's right here. Brought a little kite out here, flew it around. I like doing that sometimes. But this is where Bob has been laid to rest. He made a painting and brought it out here. What if it's still here? Let's check it out. Oh, well, definitely not there. Not much left. There's always a squirrel out here. He had a pet squirrel. A little penny jar. Lots of pennies. Cool. Little Bob Ross. Right in front of this little art set that someone has left here is this Bat Squatch from Rogue. I don't know why it's here. I don't know Bob Ross to have been a drinker or a lover of beer, but it's somebody's tribute. Right by the grave of Bob Ross is the faint sound of an ice cream truck somewhere and a chainsaw somewhere off in the distance. Brian, you're right. It, he says it's a happy little chainsaw. We were all hoping to see an image on the 
Tesla screen with a fro. Just hoping that it was actually Bob Ross. Maybe the spirit of Bob Ross walking around, keeping us company out of here as we enjoy this perfect Florida day. It is beautiful out here. It's like, I don't know, is it 75 degrees or something? It's awesome. It's a great day to wander around and reflect on life and death and all the things you do when you're at a graveyard, or I do. You know, I came out here a couple of times in two videos in the cemetery. This is a really nice place. It's huge. So you got a lot of space just to walk around, think about things, what you're doing. You know, you're going to land here one day. I'm going to land here one day, not specifically in this spot. Maybe somebody will. Looks like an open one right there. Somebody, could be you, is going to be in one of these spots here. None of us are going to make it out of here alive. None of us. So while you're here, you might as well do all the things that you want to do and you could do. And you know, like Bob Ross, what an inspirational guy. Love that show. Love the inspiration that he gave everybody. That inspired me to paint. Bob Ross. Thanks for all you did, buddy. I've seen several of these style of grave markers. They're for infants. One month old baby, two of them. Oh, sad. Lots of these grave markers have these flower holders. If you haven't seen these or didn't know what they were, this is it. You can decorate your loved one's gravesite with this convenient flower holder. As you can see, a lot of people take advantage of these flower holders. It's quite nice. I'm noticing a lot of older graves out here. People that died in the 70s and 80s that just kind of left alone and their their flower holders are not out and I wonder you know, do people just forget about all these people out here do they have loved ones that come and talk to them hang out with them miss them stuff like that detail it's pretty cool wow I love these unique headstones if only we knew whose it was. There's nothing on it. It's just a block of marble with a car on it. Cool car. A little bit of water damage, but pretty cool. It seems as though all three of these people have lost their fingers over time. I know what that's like, guys. I'm, I feel for you. You got it worse than me, though. These statues really look like they're looking right at you when you're right up on them. It's, it's kind of weird. Of all the times I've been out here, I have not experienced anything spooky or strange. I found a couple stories online. People say that there's uh, some ghostly encounters that have happened out here, mainly back here by this tree line, but I haven't experienced anything like that. And it's been always peaceful for me, like most every cemetery has been. I haven't sensed anything out here. It's just a great day, beautiful place, very peaceful enjoying it quite a bit sure wish we could see some things on the on the car's radar but i don't think that's going to happen today and he was much oh. older than her so i wonder if it was a wife or a daughter well that is interesting isn't it well here's somebody who died in 1986 very celebrated gene michael christopher rest in peace does it see does it see me We're experimenting right now to see if the car can see anything that I'm doing. Well, something's not quite working right with this today. There was an update recently, so that's probably what it is. Previously, it was very sensitive and would see people standing next to you. You could see a pet or a cone in the road like 30 feet away. Very sensitive. I look it up online on YouTube and there are these stories. There are an like a graveyard or they're out and about somewhere and there's this person standing in front of their car that doesn't exist. So 
that's why we came out here just to see if anything was really going on or not but it seems to be unfunctional <laughs> oh i'm a truck what? now oh my <laughs> 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 Showing that car. Okay. Big mausoleum. There's a family hanging out up there. It's like just hanging out. Jenny's <laughs> in the back summoning the spirits right now. I, we think that that every, all the people that have gone before us here have just gone way far away before us because there's nothing going on here. It doesn't, doesn't sense anything. You know, the spirits have, they don't have any business here. I guess. Oh well. <laughs> oh, we see something, but it's an actual human. And oh, she was there for a second. Okay, we just saw somebody walking. again. Oh, it's right there. Right in front of us. It's like it's walking closer. Oh. It's definitely getting closer every time we see it. Might listen to you, you can show yourself. Where are you, spirit? Did you leave us? I think he left. That's Drink. so weird. Is this gonna show my car? Everything's a ghost. Man, I didn't even pick that up. Well, we're not parting ways just yet. We're gonna go to another cemetery and check it out. We have arrived at Winter Garden Cemetery. We've figured out there's possibly a couple settings that would help with this. You go into park assist and you have to be going under five miles an hour. And it does show you more things. <laughs> hmm. It does say somebody's there. But nobody's there. <laughs> ghost. Ghost stay. <laughs> Wait till we catch you on camera. Come on out, show yourself, please. Is there anybody there? Yes. All right, is there anyone there? We'd like to see you again. If you don't mind, who are you? I mean, maybe it sees that small mausoleum. If you're a ghost, can you move? Because <laughs> remember we told it to say so. You can move. Oh my gosh. Thank you for your cooperation. Feel free to move some more. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you walk in front of the car? So that we can see you? Maybe it's hard of hearing. Since <laughs> <laughs> hearing you. Batteries went bad. Walk Never across seen. the street, please, so we can see you. <laughs> There's nothing really there. Where'd you go? Oh, there you oh. are. 
Can you move? Hey, walk around. <laughs> See if it, it does get the trash can. No. No. <laughs> well, Brian, Jenny, today was mildly successful. I'd say, do you think that there were actually like apparitions that we saw? Yes. You think so? It could have been a grave that it was picking up. Could have been a mausoleum. They were walking. They were walking. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Well, you decide. What do you think about this? Is it is it picking up something? Is the Tesla reading some energies out there that we can't see? Is that what's happening? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, I guess we'll, uh, we, we may never know, friends, but today was fun. Thanks for joining us out here at uh, Woodlawn and Winter Garden Cemeteries. It's fun. Thanks for letting me ride around in your Tesla. My pleasure. Friends, I'll see you in the next video. You know what? I think that once you leave here, you're probably going to see stuff on there. Maybe once you leave and go back to your house. If it happens, let me know, okay? okay. And I'll tell them. Okay. All right. See you, friends. Hair, makeup. Hair, makeup. I think they're in the green room. I think they're in the green room.